Hello and welcome to another video of Tech Latest Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111. In this video we are going to discuss about Dreambooth. What is Dreambooth? How to train stable diffusion using Dreambooth and generate your own checkpoint. Once new checkpoint is generated we will see how to use it. So let's begin. Generative AI has been a buzz with Dreambooth. Dreambooth is by far the most popular method of customizing stable diffusion. And, if you're interested in preserving details of your subject, it's likely the best option available to get the job done. It's a way to train stable diffusion on a particular object or style, by creating your version of the model that generates those objects or styles. You can train a model with as few as three images and the training process takes a few minutes. Notably, Dream Booth works with people, so you can make a version of stable diffusion that can generate images of yourself. Provide your images in different perspective as the training data. And once model is ready, generate images of yours in various context. The Dream Booth method fine tunes the diffusion model itself, until it understands the new concept you are trying to teach it. Once the model is ready, it can recreate the images from the dataset in different context. To run Dreambooth, you need to set up a stable diffusion environment. If you are using stable diffusion with automatic 1111 solution by techlatest.net, then you will see, Dreambooth extension is pre-installed out of the box. You can start using it straight away. But if you don't have Dreambooth installed, you can install it from the extension tab. Go to extensions, then go to the available option, see the list of extensions, find Dreambooth, and install it. You can check our Stable Diffusion Extension video to see how to install third-party extensions in Automatic 1111. So, in my case, Dreambooth is already installed. So let's try to train our own model. I am here on Dreambooth tab. The methodology used to run implementations of Dreambooth involves the fine-tuning of such models using a small set of images depicting a specific subject. With three to five images identified as generally sufficient, and these images are paired with text prompts that contain the name of the class the subject belongs to, plus a unique identifier. First, we will create an empty model. Click on the Create button here. Give it a name. In my case I, the name of the model is, Tech Latest Dreambooth Demo. Then give the source checkpoint. Currently I am having 2.1 Emma pruned. Now click on the Create model. It will take a while. When it's done, you can see this successful message here. Also, it is available to choose from the model options. Once MT model is created, you can see this settings here is enabled. On first tab, provide the required settings. I have done some changes here. For other options, I am going with default values. Once ready, save it. You can see the output of each step in output pane. Do the basic settings as per your requirement. Next. On Concept tab, now, as I am going to use person images to train the model, I will select this training wizard person. Provide the dataset directory. This is the location of input images you are providing for training. I am training Dreambooth on these images of Tom Cruise. Then you will need to construct your instance prompt. For example, a photo of, provide the unique identifier plus the class name. In my example, Portrait of Tom Cruise as one word, person, award whining photography. And, a class prompt. Like the one I provided here. Portrait of beautiful person, award whining photography. You can see instance prompt and class prompt are very much similar. But instance prompt is more specific. And class prompt is generalized. To get good results, you can also provide negative prompt here. Like, I don't want images to be ugly, blurred, overlapping, child, etc. For remaining options go with the default values. And click on train. Training will take some time. Wait till it finishes. After it is done, once training step completed, click on generate checkpoint button to generate the checkpoint. You will get checkpoint successfully generated message. You will see successful message in the output pane. After it finished, you will find your model up here. Select it. Provide the prompt. As I have provided the images of Tom Cruise for training, 
I will generate his image in other context. And here is my prompt. Portrait of Tom Cruise as a pencil drawing, in the style of Greg Rutkowski, Mucha. Wait for it to finish. And here we go. This is the output images. One more in Disney character. And this is the result. You can use stable diffusion dream booth feature in many ways. Few of them are to manipulate images in various ways, such as changing facial expressions or adding new objects to a scene. This can be useful in fields like advertising, where it's important to create eye-catching visuals that stand out from the competition. It can be used by artists to create unique and imaginative pieces of art. It can be used in the fashion industry to create virtual fashion shows and photo shoots. It can be used in the film and TV industry to create realistic special effects and CGI. That's all about this video. We covered how to train and create our own checkpoint using Dreambooth. Then use the newly created model to generate images of specific person or objects in several contexts. TechLatest.net provides the stable diffusion with automatic 1111 web interface offer in the form of a virtual machine solution on leading cloud platforms including Google Cloud. Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. To ensure you have the best learning experience and can follow the course content seamlessly, we highly recommend provisioning the pre-configured Stable Diffusion Virtual Machine solution available on these cloud marketplaces. Here's how to get started. Go to www.techlatest.net slash sd. Click the provided cloud provider marketplace link. Follow the on-screen instructions to launch the VM. To make the provisioning of VM easy for you, we have step-by-step -step guides, which shows all the steps in details. All the links are in the description. Thank you for watching.